In this recorded webinar, I created 30 videos that explain how to make AutoCAD drawings in 2D, 3D, and solid models. If you would like to create these drawings, contact me by email or phone, and I will mail you my CD. Thank you. This will be exercise 3. As you can see, it's already set up with a split screen. So I'll move into model space and click the model button. Then you change the layer and make one current. And we can proceed to draw. Type L enter, pick any point on the screen, move the mouse, 4 enter, mouse down, 4 enter, to the left, 4 enter, and up, either 4 enter or C to close. Then you probably want to zoom to make it a little larger. Now you type O to offset and to enter. Move that one to the right, that one down. Hit enter twice, change the offset number to one, enter. Move it there, move it there. Hit escape. Type F for fill it. R, but R is already zero, so we will leave it alone. Just hit enter again. And we can fill it this intersection, hit the space bar to repeat, fill it that intersection. Now what you do is to copy, CO enter, copy that line and that line, pick any point, drag it down. Hit the escape or return key, enter key. I'll type O, enter. One is OK, offset. So I'll offset there, there, and there. Hit enter or escape. Type CO enter, pick that line, and you drag it down. Hit the space bar. Hit it again. Repeat, pick that, drag it down. Hit space bar, repeat, click that, drag it down. We can go you now you go back to F enter radius zero and you select two lines to clean up these intersections, hit the space bar. Then you might want to shrink down drawing, get a better view. Now you type UCS, enter, O, enter. That's going to establish a new origin. With O snap on, you select that point as the origin. Also, I want to type, or you want to type, dim scale, D-I-M-S-C-A-L-E. Make sure it's set at 2, enter. You want to check the dimension style and make sure that the primary is units are two zeros after the decimal and get rid of the first zero. Of course, you have a choice, but 2 is what we want. OK, close. You go to the ordinate dimension here. 
pick a point. Hit the space bar. You can see that this method of dimensioning is very quick. It's used a lot in sheet metal work. Now you'll have to change the UCS if we want to do the front view. So you'll type UCS, enter, O, enter, and pick this point here as the origin. You can see the icon, the UCS icon moved there. We'll go to ordinate dimensioning. Pick that point zero, space bar one, space bar two, space bar three. Only trouble is, I forgot to put them on the dimension layer. So what I'll have to do here is to go to layer. Well, I don't even have to cancel it. One way of doing it is to pick one of them. Go to Property, click on Layer, change the layer to Dimension, so it should change to the color blue now. Hit Escape. It did. And I can use this Match Property to select it, and then with a paintbrush, I can do all of these. Well, that, that won't work. I can type C enter for crossing, and then I can do that. So they're all, all dimensions are now on the layer tip. Hit the escape bar. And so the top view and the front view of these objects, along with dimensions, are complete, and I can proceed to make the solid model. You want to make new layers. Click on layer, new layer. I'll call it blue, B L U E. Change the color to blue. Click on color, blue. You make another layer, call it green. Change the color. And you make another little new layer, call it red. Change color to red. Now, you might want to zoom real time, then pan to move it out of the way. We have to set blue current then using the rectangle command pick two diagonal points here's one two now you type M enter L enter you want to move the last thing you drew take off ortho so I can rubber band it there now you make the green layer current and you draw a green rectangle or square M enter L enter pick any point and move it over here now you want to make red current rectangle command there to there. M, enter, L, enter. Pick any point, move it there. Then you want to go into Southeast Isometric View. You want to pan over. And you want to zoom with the window to enlarge. So, since the red layer is current, will extrude EXT, enter, will extrude the red 
square, one, enter. We'll make the green layer current, EXT enter, we'll extrude the green on the green layer, one unit. We'll make the blue current EXT enter one. Now what we have to do is move M enter. I want to move the green from that intersection to there. Enter, repeat the command, move the blue on top of the green. And then I'm going to move all three objects. Previously we unioned them, made them all one, in which case they'd all be the same color. In this case we're not going to do that. We're not going to use the union command. But I'll shade it to see what it looks like. It's okay, so Z enter, E enter. Then we'll go into top view. Finally, we want to go into paper space, so I'll click the layout button, change the layer, make V ports current, type. M V enter and make a large window. Enter and make a smaller window. Double click inside the small window. Go to Southeast Isometric. Pan and zoom to enlarge the object. Zoom real time, whatever, till you're satisfied. Double click outside to get in, back into paper space. Click on the large screen, green screen, set the annotative scale down here at one half. You can see it got much bigger. Double click inside and then pan over to make it visible going to have a bit of a problem, I can see. So we'll double click outside. I'm going to move the top viewport up a little bit like that to give me more room. I'm going to click on the large viewport, grab a grip, and move it up like that. Double click inside still doesn't want to fit. So I'm going to pan here like this. And I'm going to type M enter. Make sure auto is on. I'm going to move the front view closer. And then I'm going to pan. So as hopefully everything will show. Which it does. So now I can double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. You can see that the two viewports overlap, but that doesn't present any problem. Now I'm going to zoom with the window to enlarge that viewport. I'll double click inside. Then I'm going to go to view orbit continuous orbit just to see what it looks like. The objects look okay so I will right click and exit and I'll go back to zoom previous. I'll double click outside the viewport. Z enter E enter zoom extends. Now I go to layer, make layer one current, and freeze the viewports layer. 
and to all intents and purposes exercise 3 is completed thank you for watching